Hey, my micro family. Today we are at PS96 in East Harlem. This is a New York City DOE dual language community school. The kids love their new projects in physical making and digital making. Everything from codesters, uh, computer coding and math, to 3D printed uh, projects that help someone, so this is a hallway pass, to the beginnings of a carrying case that like lights up for students to use. It's a pretty cool space and I'm excited to see what comes up at next year. Today, I wanna share with you uh, an answer to a question that a school administrator recently asked me. Mr. Skumas from Manchester Academy Charter School in Pittsburgh asked me what's the difference between an activity, a project, and project-based learning. And this is a conversation that we're having a lot at Winemaker. My answer, an activity is something where everyone is doing the same exact thing following step-by-step -step instructions creating the same project or results. Uh, a project is happening when students are guided to create basically the same thing with the same specifications and constraints, but are encouraged and expected to add their own personal twist on it. Project-based learning is when students are uh, posed with a pressing topic or a driving question that they're deeply connected to and they create some sort of solution that engages them in real, meaningful, thoughtful work. So they could be creating a performance or a website, or they could be physically making an invention, but all their projects are different depending, but their driving question is the same. All three of these instructional strategies are important in the classroom at different times. Students need to be practicing each of these mindsets uh, throughout their school career. And it's an important to have diversity in your teaching methods because students learn in different ways. Students are gonna be doing different things throughout their lifetime and not every day as an adult looks the same. And we need to be able to have, help our students understand that. So these are some three methodologies to creating really strong STEAM and basically general education programs. So thank you Vass for your question. Uh, everyone else out there, whether you have a question about STEAM or makerspace education, uh, please leave them for me in the comments. I want to hear what you guys are curious about. Make sure you subscribe to Winemaker's YouTube channel and follow us on all of the social medias. That's it for now, Winemaker family, and we'll talk to you soon.